Good day everyone, my name is Nathan and this is my latest LEGO creation, the Republic Heavy Infantry Support Platform. This is non-canon, it doesn't appear in any movie or Star Wars material. I completely made this up, but it is based off of pre-existing designs in the Star Wars universe. So basically what this is, is a clone tank that was used in the early days of the Clone Wars to patrol and uh, do reconnaissance on separatist occupied planets. It's very heavily armed, so the troopers inside are quite safe, but it does have some pretty serious firepower as well as some pretty big engines, as you can see. So basically, the main armament of this tank are these two heavy laser cannons in front, which are directly powered from the main energy, energy source of the vehicle. And over here we have a repeating blaster cannon, which can rotate with a ball joint, or a universal joint, if you will. And basically this can just this can aim upwards, downwards, sideways, just about anywhere it needs to. And it does fit quite a few minifigures. I'll show you that in a second. But let me just talk about the design. Basically when I built this, it was going to be some sort of a gunship or a shovel. It was gonna have wings extending from these holes on the side. But I kinda like the idea of it being a tank because we don't get that, mu that many clone hover tanks except the standard one in Battlefront 2 and the original Battlefront 2, I forget the name but aside from that we don't really get that much clone hover tanks so I, I thought that was a nice opportunity to make my own so basically this opens up here and you can see it's currently seating a pilot a Republic pilot, not a clone pilot and a Jedi and two clone troopers and then on the back, this door over here opens, or this hatch, and then the rear door opens. And you can remove this little command post, which I'll show you in a second. But on the inside, these side panels kind of fold open so you get a better view. Um, you can't really see it inside because it's dark, but it does have two blasters and just just some space for you to stand around if you're like waiting to get deployed or whatever you just stand around um, the reason I'm not moving the camera that much is because I have a new stand so keep that in mind um, basically this folds back up pretty easily I like how this just comes together perfectly as well as in the front in the front well it has a viewport it's not very big but this is supposed to be armored and these flaps can close down to provide more coverage and then they rely on holograms and screens to navigate but you can open this up um, on the inside I'm gonna try to get, show you a better view these side panels kind of open up a bit a bit but it's not that much on the inside we have two clone troopers which I'll try to remove they have seats they're not just sitting there you have the pilot another clone trooper and the Jedi Knight and there goes the stand. It's one of those stands with a very long, kind of springy arm. So if I touch it, it starts wobbling. Um, but this is the Jedi. He's kind of unique. He's wearing partially clone armor. Um, my camera won't focus, but it's using base Malthus face. Then there's two normal phase, two, phase one clone troopers and this Republic pilot, which as you can see, he's kind of a mix of Imperial pilots and kind of just my own parts but on the inside it does have quite a few control panels and displays as well as a holographic display in the back here it's using that Avengers sticker it says analysis it's kind of scanning probably a life form scanner but this close rides up this closes right up and on the top it has these ventilation systems as well as these grills here um, some greebling on the back these side panels open straight up and just fall back down. You could just open them both at the same time. Um, but yeah, it has these two clamps on the side, which makes me wonder if the Republic dropship can actually pick this up and just take it and deploy it somewhere. Because it can hover, but it can't fly. So 
it needs to be deployed either by exiting the main cruiser or by a shuttle, a larger shuttle, or by a dropship itself. We could just clamp on the side and just pull it up. As you can see, it has some greebling on the sides here and the main supports that hold the whole thing up at an angle. It's very simple the way I did it. I just put two Technic beams of different lengths and it just holds it at that angle. It's pretty sturdy. It's not going to fall apart. It's not going to move. Um, on the other side, it's pretty simple. It has just like bricks. And then on the back, it has these two thrusters, which as you can see are pretty big. So this thing can go pretty fast, but I'm assuming that because of its height and center of gravity, you don't want to go at high speed and take any curves with this because it's going to tip over. Um, but yeah, there's not much to it. I'm going to show you the little side builds. Um, you have this little command post, which is based off of LEGO's old clone command posts. You have a clone sergeant, which unfortunately he can't, he can't fit in the shuttle or the tank because of his armor and there's just no space. But you can take his gun and just place it here on the little command post and you can shoot. Um, and the other two minifigures that do fit inside are two basic clone troopers, the pilot, and the Jedi. So that's about it. I haven't built any Star Wars or other LEGO creations from different themes in quite a while. Um, I've kind of been just doing my own stuff. But I used to do a lot of custom Star Wars vehicles as well as Star Wars vehicles that already do exist. On one of my old channels, I did build an ATSD as well as a Rebel speeder tank. But that was a long time ago, and I'm kind of stuck to building my own stuff. Um, so I just got bored. I wanted to build something with green, white, and dark red, kind of like the Republic colors. I am a big fan of Star Wars, if you guys don't know, and especially the Clone Wars. That's my thing, Clone Wars. Um, so building my own custom Clone Wars vehicles is something I find really fun, and I hope I'm doing more in the future. But that's about it. I want to know what you guys think. Do you like my heavy infantry support platform? Do you think there's anything that I should change or just anything I should have done differently or do you have any suggestions for custom Star Wars vehicles that I could do in the past? I mean the future, not the past. Um, that reminds me, speaking of the past, I did build quite a few custom Star Wars creations from pre-existing vehicles that I do really like and I'm going to try to rebuild those sometime in the future and post them here. Um, I have an ATRT, an ATST as well as some other LEGO Star Wars creations. Um, but yeah, you can check those out on my Flickr, on my albums, there's a Star Wars folder, so if you're curious, you can go to the link in the description and just check it out. But that's about it. So subscribe and expect to see more Star Wars stuff in the future. Um, yeah, I guess that's about it. Have a great day.